and today i'm bringing another video on how to um, perform the quark which is an atmospheric um, correction using the mv so remember we learned how to install the software and i believe you have your software running by now so let's get started so you open your mv i already have an image loaded here so i would like to remove this one so it's removed so let's start you upload your file you go to open us then this are various satellites so you select the one we need which is landsat geotiff then select a location where you've saved your satellite image you downloaded from usgs that is the united states geological survey so i save mine here i'm trying to use my group's project to work so this is it and i open it all right it's there so i like to um, see all the features so use the zoom to full extent or you can use the shortcut which is f12 and this is our downloaded satellite images and as you can see there are some lines um strip lines and then some distortions on it so i like to remove all this noise from our image so what we do first is we apply the landsat gap fill and it's in the extension box so if you don't see it you can just click on the extension and you have it here you click you leave you just select or choose a location you would like to save it then give it a file name so i'll name mine gap fill gap fill click on enter and okay so yeah you select your image um, file you are working with and to know the kind of image you are working with you can scroll here and it's there you can click on it and it shows you the file information the file type the sensor type the projection the wavelength and what have you so click on ok and it's performing so as we wait um, for it to perform we have various um, features in the toolbox here and each of them um, is very good so another software you can use aside from the MV is the edas image that is the earth resource um, software which we'll be also using later but the MV is quite easier and it is the industry-based standard so here we have your team detection the classification and the classification we have the supervised and unsupervised we have the geometric corrections we have the radiometric corrections and what have you so as you can see the lines are are gone and let's wait for it to complete loading you can see it here as you can see the strip lines are gone so you can see let's look at the difference you can undo it so you see the difference here we have the strips and the lines so when we perform the gap fill you can see it's off so now that is done let's perform our um radiometric calibration so you go to your radiometric calibration then you select your atmospheric correction so the atmospheric correction we have two types which is the flash and then the quick so in our next video we'll go into details what these two um features mean so right now we are working with the quack so you click And you wait for it to open and this is it so for this interface you are going to select your input raster just click on the three dots and then i'm using my gap fill so if your image doesn't have any strip or band lines you can just scroll and select um multi-spectral multi-spectral because that's what we are working we are working with two or more bands and not a thermal or a panchromatic band so because mine has um strip lines i have to perform a gap fill so then i'm going to use this as my input raster and then the next you come to your sensor type as you know you downloaded it i'm using the landsat so use the landsat pm this and you click on ok so you wait for it to perform a tax yeah tax not responding it's normal it will respond yes patient 
Okay, so as we wait for um, the results, um, let's give a very nice um, description of what the quark is. So the quark, um, um, the quark is an atmospheric correction model for multispectral and hyperspectral imagery that works with the visible and near infrared through short wave radiation. So the input data for quark can be um, radiance and apparent reflection or uncalibrated units. And also, as we did before, we said um, before you use the quark, um, a mark should be applied to the images with large borders or background prior to the image in quark. This can be done using the Landsat um, gap fill um, found in the extension box as um, we did. And also, the input file must have at least three or more bands. So as, as you could see, when we opened the file information, we saw the number of bands we have there. And then the quark is best used with scenes that contains diverse materials such as water, soil, vegetation, and man-made um, features. So this is a brief um, summary on what the quark is and what it can be used for. And also, um, not to forget, the quark is also used when um, the imagery is uniform, uniformly illuminated, such as clear sky conditions, or when, when the airborne sensor flies under a complete cloud cover. Yeah. So these are conditions needed for the quark to perform. All right, so as you can see, um, it's performing, so it's loading, loading. So as you can see, it's, it's loaded, and you see building raster parameters. So let's wait for it to load here. It's loading. And if you remember, you can apply some enhancement features to it. So you can either opt for brightness, add brightness. These are all enhancement features. You can either add your brightness, your contrast, and these are also some features you can also use. So let's wait for it to load, then we can apply it. Okay, it's done. So you can see the change in image. So if you apply the linear one, this is what you get. If you apply linear two, this is what you get. And if you also want to apply linear five, this is what you get. So depending on what you want, you can apply. And this is our final image. So this is the result you get after applying the quark. So thank you guys for watching this wonderful video. And the next video will be on how to perform the flash. Make sure you do subscribe and wait for more. Bye-bye.